Well, I was in severe pain, and I, I, I drove myself to the hospital. We're going to get to your pain later. Please? No one in Bellingham, Mass. ever heard of a parking meter. Not a meter. I never did a meter. <laughs> this is not a parking meter deal. This is an affair of the heart. Oh, trust me. This is the courtroom of Judge Frank Caprio, where people and cases are met with compassion. A different kind of judge. A courtroom like no other. This is Caught in Providence. Scott Ferguson. Yeah. Good morning, Your Honor. Hi. All right, now, I'm looking at this case, Mr. Ferguson, and it's, like, kind of complicated. So I'm going to need some help on this case. So uh, what's this young man's name? This is my son, Connor. Connor? Connor. Connor, you want to give me a hand with this case? Help me out? Huh? Come up here. <laughs> All right, tell us your name again. Connor. And how old are you? Seven. And you go to school? Primrose Hill School. And what grade are you in? Mm, going into second. Going into? Second. Second. Yeah. What's your favorite teacher's name so far? I like all my teachers. Oh, he's, he's going to be a diplomat, this guy. All right? All right, now I'm having a lot of trouble with this case. You think you want to help me out? Okay. Let's ask him if he has an explanation. Do you have an explanation? <laughs> And tell, tell him and say, <laughs> make it good. I'm sorry. Make okay. it good. What is the explanation? Your Honor, you'll see a photograph on my phone of my van parked in the spot. Not disputing that. I have that, a that photograph is taken from the second floor of the Brown Library at 6.30 a.m. You can see the time stamp. I'm a full-time stay-at-home dad and a full-time student. I arrived at the library at 3.30 a.m. to write a paper. I get outside at 8.13 to find a ticket on my car. The parking starts at 8 a.m. I packed up my stuff. I get out to the truck at 8.13 to find a ticket. What time was the car parked there from? I started, I, I got to the library about 3.30. 3.30 in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, so you're lucky you didn't get charged for overtime parking. Connor, did you hear that explanation? Yes. Well, I have three choices. Okay, you gonna help me out? I'm gonna write them down. Actually, I have four choices. The first choice, I'm gonna make that number one, is I can fine your dad the entire $75 fine. The second choice is I can say, okay, well, I'm not gonna charge him the full fine. I'm gonna charge him $50. You see that? The third choice is the original fine was $25. And the fourth choice is I can charge him nothing. So you're the judge, you're sitting here. So do we charge him 75? <laughs> charge him 50? <laughs> we charge him 25? Or we charge him zero? So you're going to be something in there. So you want one, two, three, or four. What do you think? Four. Four? You don't want to charge him anything? Attaboy. Did, have you had breakfast yet? No. A bowl of cereal. <laughs> a bowl of cereal? Huh? Are you still hungry? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, make a, we'll make a deal with your dad. If he takes you to breakfast, we'll dismiss the case. How does that sound? <laughs> yes. And so what do you think you're going to order? Pancakes. <laughs> can you handle that? I can, sir. Okay. Thank you. A courtroom is an intimidating experience for most people, particularly for youngsters. You know, oak panel of a courtroom, a judge in a robe, a police officer with a gun. It's frightening for some people. So I just love bringing the kids up. You know. When they leave the courtroom, in my judgment, their opinions of the systems of government are that the systems of government are fair, that they're there trying to be honest. Now, if this youngster got nothing else out of this court session, he got a great breakfast of pancakes and an appreciation that the systems of government really do work. Nancy Lee, what terrible thing did you do? Do you want to confess now or do we have to beat you up to get it? You have to beat me up to get it. <laughs> okay. What do you I, want to tell uh, me about I drove this? myself to Miriam Hospital. I have all the records from the hospital. And when I came out, I had a ticket on my car. And I have a picture of it. You couldn't see the two-hour parking. You could only see two to six-hour parking. 
So I had oh, a ticket on Oh, you took a picture of the sign? Please? You took a picture of the sign? Yes, I have it right here. All right, show it to Inspector Quinn. <coughs> well, it appears to me that the sign's in good condition. Would you agree? No? No, I couldn't see the, I couldn't see the two hour parking. What? I was in severe pain and I, I and I drove myself to the hospital and I have all the hospital records here. We're gonna get to your pain later, so <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about your eyesight first, OK? My, I had cataract surgery. My eyesight oh, is perfect. We're going to start again, OK? The sign itself is in good shape, right? The what sign? You... <laughs> uh, let me, let me... Evidently, from my uh, observation of the sign, it appears that the sign is one of the better ones in Providence. Your allegation is that the sign allegedly at the top of the sign says two-hour parking, and then below that, it says 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., right? And you are alleging that the branches of the tree were the blocking leaves, the leaves. The, the leaves. And the leaves were on the... They were blocking. The leaves were on the... Tree. On the branches. Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm in kindergarten here. <laughs> <So> anyway. <laughs> did you get that one, Inspector Quinn? I saw that clearly, Judge. You did? Yes, I did. The leaves are on the... I saw the explanation clearly. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are alleging that the leaves were blocking... Yes, sir. And so how long did it take you to get the proper angle so that you could get a, t a picture of the leaves blocking the top of as the sign? As soon as I came out of the hospital and saw the ticket on my car, and I looked at it, I'm like, wait a minute, I can't see the two-hour to two hour parking, so I took pictures of it. Oh. So you, you, uh, you just saw this part of the sign that says, like, what, one to six? Two to six. Two to six. All right. Well, that's the problem. You could park there between, the, between two and six, right? And you got the ticket at 155, five minutes before you were supposed to be there. I don't know what time I got to the hospital. How long did it take you to prepare this case? <laughs> How long did it take you to prepare this case? You're gonna, I, you think you're in before the Supreme Court. It's a, it's a $25 parking ticket. All right. I know you're at the hospital. I saw the records and your five minutes over time here. I'm gonna give you a break on it. Thank you, Judge. From now on, I want you to view the whole sign. Do you understand that? And if you see any leaves, I want you to have a big stick in your car. Move yeah, the, I'm going to get move, a, move the leaves. <laughs> but those cutters are not good. Right. Okay. Well, usually I park in the parking lot. But I know. It was, <laughs> do that. It was full. These people, they have an appointment tonight. You can't, you're going to be, you're going to be out of here by 6 p.m. tonight. <laughs> all right. Now you're all set. Thank you. <laughs>